collector boxes and set boxes are in contention, which one do we think is the better option? Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie and I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. We, were, we are on the cuff of Commander Masters release week. Today is Monday, full release is on Friday. WPN Premium Stores hosted events last week and we are starting to see the singles market really come to fruition on this set. It is, uh, this set is wild, man. Holy moly, the price point on this thing it provide, you know, provides a lot of discussion on what's going to happen. Now I'm gonna give you some background. Uh, we didn't order light on this set. We didn't order heavy on this this set as a store. I own GameGrove.gg. If you're looking to pick up product, you want to support the channel, you can do so there. We do have singles. If you're like, hey, I'm just buying singles on this set, we are cracking open boxes for singles. Uh, so go to GameGrove.gg, click the singles or whatever. Uh, so we didn't really change our ordering for this set and I really was worried about it. Um, but I just kind of, you know, Lord of the Rings did really well. Uh, and I, I risked a little bit on Lord of the Rings. I just kind of said, I'm going to go for it on Commander Masters. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold back and I should have, but I didn't. Um, so here's my thoughts on this and, and how I'm solving my problem. I saw a Reddit post uh, this weekend about a store owner who spent about the same as much, uh, it's about the same amount that I spent on Commander Masters. And he was talking about how he just feels like none of it's going to sell. Uh, and what should he do? And, and what my solution for this has been is to crack the boxes open for singles. Uh, and at this point, you know, we've probably opened, I don't know, maybe 40, 30, 40, 45% of the set boxes we ordered. Um, and I'm telling you right now, the value is incredible in the singles in and, and the way that the singles are coming out of packs uh, is particularly with set boxes. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. The value has been really good. I've probably recouped about 75% of the initial, you know, boxes that I've opened already uh, on pre-sales. And so the demand for singles has been insane. Uh, and I think that is a couple of factors that are weighing into that. Number one, the cards in the set are phenomenal. And Nobody's complaining about the cards. Well, so there's some posts of people complaining about some cards like Ristic Study not being in here. Uh, you've got, you know, Doubling Season being in Wilds of Eldraine. I think there's another card that's also in Wilds of Eldraine. Uh, there's a little bit of complaining about that. But for the most part, if you look at this card list and you complain, I don't know what you're complaining about. I, the only negative I have, in my opinion, is that there is no, none of the allied fetch lands. I think that's the ones that haven't been reprinted. Uh, but, but man, like everything else is in the set. There is great cards in the set. And that is what's driving the sales of the singles. The singles um, have been moving really, really well. Um, and I think that one of the biggest contributions for that, other than that the cards are good, is the price point. And so uh, this is where things get a little bit hairy and a little bit mixy. If you are a store, um, I think the best bet is to just sell singles because not necessarily that you're going to make more money or you'll probably make a little bit more money, but the rate of which you are selling is just safer. And, and the product itself, in my opinion, is a little bit safer. The fight to the bottom on set boxes has been pretty drastic. We're already at a point where stores are, are losing money after fees and shipping. I mean, fees on a $300 for, for fees on a $350 box on TCG player is insane. The real winners of this whole expensive Magic the Pro Gathering product are Wizards of the Coast and TCG player. Those are the two winners. Everybody else gets hosed. Stores gets hosed. You get hosed as a consumer. TCG player and Wizards, they make all the money uh, because the, the fees on shipping, or not really the shipping, but the fees on the boxes on sales are absolutely astronomical. When you weigh that into the box price and, and store box price, I think that singles are a better option. Now, if you're, if you're a consumer, what that means is I think people are going to catch on and we have been opening quite a bit of product, not a metric, ton, like not a ton, like honestly, like not, not anything that's like insane. We're not doing a mass. We're not doing a 400 box mass open. We're opening, you know, 50, 60 boxes. It's not, it's not like an app, but at the percent, at the price point, it feels like a 200 box opening. Um, but here's my, here's my concern for the, the singles community, not your local singles, but you know, I guess if you're local, then it is your local singles. But here's my concern. The, 
we are not pulling that many of the mythics. I mean, Demonic Tutor, uh, Jeweled Lotus is, I mean, we have a deal where if you're opening a set box, I have a, people, a few people who uh, help me in, in store, you know, my employees. If they open a, a Jeweled Lotus out of a set box, they get to open a collector box as like a reward for opening a Jeweled Lotus. It's just like a fun thing we do. Um, and we only open like a couple of them. Like it's crazy how rare Jeweled Lotus is, doubling season, you know, land tax. I think we pulled one land tax. The set size is massive. Um, and so the singles, while right now they are coming down quite a bit, I do think that the supply of the singles is going to, uh, it's going to be an interesting thing to watch. And so um, if you are buying singles, you need to know that I think that the, the retrace up point is probably a little bit sooner. I'm not saying like go buy singles, it's going to all go to the moon. But the retrace up point, I think, is a little bit sooner than a lot of people think uh, and typical because uh, the set size is just so massive um, so yeah if you're a consumer though set boxes frankly man all right so listen to this people are buying the lowest version of the card we're, we're opening some collector boxes and we're seeing like the textured foils like when we pull a uh, a profile textured foil those are just sitting right now they're not like people are not picking up the really really high-end cards what people in my opinion are excited for on a set like this is not what wizards wants them to be excited for they are excited for reprints and buying their cards at 30 to 35 percent cheaper than the the price was two weeks ago. They're, they feel like they're getting a good deal on a Cyclonic Rift because it's 35% cheaper than it was two weeks ago. What they're not looking for is the expensive high-end versions of these, you know, textured foils and, and all this stuff. And I think that that is a miss from Wizards. Like, I think Wizards thought everybody wanted these super high-end frame break flashy cards. And I feel like what, what uh, I don't know, what the market is telling me from our sales and what's sitting and what's not sitting is that people just want cheap versions of their cards. Like, people don't want to spend an astronomical amount of money on, on these, you know, high-end cards. And it's weird because I think there's a couple things Wizards has done that they could have done to make people actually want that. Like, if you look at Pokemon, what Pokemon does is their their cards are cheap. All their cards are really cheap. You get a, a, a Blastoise VMAX, a uh, regular Blastoise VMAX, and it's a $6 card. It's It's very cheap. But you get the alt art Blastoise V Max, and it's super rare, and it's $120, and it's expensive, and people want it, and they send it into PSA. And I feel like what Wizards is trying to do is tap into this like collector market where people send off modern cards to get graded at PSA, just like Pokemon does, and all that stuff. And what they're missing is that. The, there's nothing different. Like if I pulled, um, you know, for instance, I, I pulled the Ur Dragon. You saw that in the collector box. The textured foil Ur Dragon is the exact same look as the non-textured version of the Ur, Ur Dragon. The artwork looks exactly the same. When you're playing it in a sleeve, you can't tell that the card is textured. And so it's no wonder that this card isn't selling as a single on my website because you can't tell that it's different. It's not special enough. It's not different enough. They need to put different arts, alternative arts on their high end cards that they want to be expensive and make the other cards cheaper. They need to change this direction. The problem, the reason they can't is that collector boxes ruin that. You have to have lots of poles in your collector boxes and whereas Pokemon, they just have one box. So anyway, long story short, what, what this video is aiming to do for you as a consumer, if you want the cards, if you, if you want the card opening experience, um, the, the set boxes are just gonna be too expensive. Uh, and the risk is too high, so you open the singles. But this is where the thing, everything shifts as well. The cheapest entry point on this product is the collector box. And in my opinion, that's going to be the most open product from a consumer standpoint. Now, stores right now are opening set boxes because collector boxes are selling. They are being more accepted at acceptable, you know, for store acceptable price points on the market. But a set box, 
stores are opening right now. So the value of the cards, those cards is going down. But in a couple of weeks and over the next couple of months, you're gonna see more collector boxes open. And I think that's gonna make that high end card pool price drop down. Whereas the low end card pool will, will balance out a little bit earlier. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting. If I were a consumer, what I would be looking for is singles. Um, and I would be looking uh, probably on like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, as people pull and the, the whole market opens up and you see that tank to the bottom. If I was looking to pick up like a copy of Cyclonic Rift, that's when I would purchase it. If I was looking to, to pick up a demonic tutor, that, you know, Sunday, Monday would be the time and the, the when I would go and buy that card. I know everyone in the comment section is gonna say, wait for two weeks. In my opinion, most of the value drops in the first couple days uh, after full release. And then, you know, you're, you're more risky on waiting in my opinion. So, uh, collector boxes though, that's, you know, I, it's going to be interesting. This set is, I think people are going to open collector boxes over set boxes. The set boxes are just so expensive. Um, but you do get more hits. So let me know what you're planning on opening. Let me know what you're planning on keeping sealed. I don't think many people are going to keep much sealed on this product. Personally, I'll probably keep some draft boxes sealed because I do think that this is a gr really fun format to enjoy in the future and that there will be some people who want to enjoy draft in five, 10 years. But the way that they're reprinting all this stuff and without any real special things that are not mass produced uh it just doesn't hold value in my opinion as a long-term collectible sealed product and we've seen that with the other master sets look at ultimate masters uh that kind of thing the price point just hasn't moved in five years because they just keep reprinting everything that's in the set. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel and pick up some product, uh, head on over to gamegrove.gg. We will have a commander live stream on Tuesday with the commander decks to kind of teach our local community how to play with those commander, commander decks as an advertising thing. Uh, and so that'll just be uh, me and my staff uh, playing commander. It'll be a lot of fun for you. Check that out Tuesday night around 9 p.m. Hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day. Be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.